All right, what's going on guys? We got part two of the ATI damper install, only because the last video you saw with Robert in it, um, his ATI damper install didn't include, nice one AJ, <laughs> didn't include um, AC. So that car did not have AC. So today we're gonna be installing it into my P11 over here. And that one does have AC, so I'm gonna just, there's no difference in removing or installing. I just wanted to go ahead and go over the differences in belts. Um, just because there's not a lot of information out there about this guy. What's up, AJ? Say What's hi up? to everybody. Um, there's not a lot of information out there as, as to what belts you're supposed to use with this ATI damper. Um, so I will let you know that it is verified. The, the belt that we are switching to on the B14 and the, that I tried on my B13, the K060335 is actually a perfectly good fitting belt. Um, I took a picture of it. Matt Feigl knows what's up. It's a buddy of mine. He asked me about it, um, but it is it fits. Um, I'll see if I can post a picture of it up here, um, but try that one out. I, I believe you'd be able to go up one more size from the list that I posted in the last video and that would still work as well so you might want to try that but the K060335 for non-AC cars gives me about an inch and a quarter more of adjustment than the standard belt that we put into Rob's car I don't quite remember what the belt size was on that but you can go back in the video and reference it or I'll put it up here again as well but uh, so yeah so today we're gonna go ahead and install the ATI damper in my P11 um, may not have impression videos on it it all depends I don't know I don't know if we'll have enough time because in the meantime while I'm doing this I got the guys over here working on that so don't mind that belt so this is what I got I got one size up from stock and two sizes up from stock and as I mentioned in the video before um, Kyle Day was my buddy in Arizona he, uh, he confirmed with me that the stock AC belt for his P10 with the VE as well um, fits just fine, but it is short. So I got one size up, two sizes up. So one of these is gonna be better than another one for me depending on how much adjustment I can get. And I prefer to have at least one to two inches of adjustment. I wouldn't wanna be at the bottom of the threads only because belts do stretch over time. And if I need to make adjustments, if it's squealing or anything like that, and I'm on the, at the bottom of the adjustment, it's gonna end up having for me to go ahead and replace it. So again, these are the two sizes that we purchased. I'll find out which one's best out of the two. And then of course, I'll let you guys know which one's better. But again, I tend to always buy Gates belts. This one, uh, Master Craft, I don't know, maybe. I think this is the one for the G-Spec water pump pull. But I don't think I'll be running that. The, the one I had in there is actually pretty new, so I, I don't really need it. But so far, um, what I have done is I already took the crank pulley off. It's quite simple actually, but it's quite dirty down there. As you guys can see, and I have an OEM rear main seal. So as usual around here, we like to do OEM. So instead of bringing one, I brought two just in case something happens to one. But here's a part number for the rear main seal. Again, front. OEM. No, front main seal, excuse me. Thank you, AJ. My uh, sinuses are getting to me at this point. This damn cold and hot weather. Yeah, I know, it's cold and hot weather. You can't give us 55 max and then give us a day of 70. And what's going on over here? Okay, this is on the next video, so I won't talk about that. But again, use OEM whenever you can. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna clean up down there um, and just clean it out as much as I can. I mean, it is. I am working in a dirty area, so then again, it's a stock car. It's going to get dirty again. I'll still clean it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You guys don't need to see that, so let's keep rolling. All right, small tip when you're putting this thing in and you're torquing it down to anywhere between 105 and 112 foot-pounds, don't mind me. I need some Claritin, but it's okay. Spring is coming, which means big things are coming. Um, put it in fifth gear. Put it in fifth gear. It's easiest to go ahead and torque it down. Uh, if you put it in any other gear, you'll feel like a rubber band effect. Well, even though you have somebody inside pressing the brake and have it in any other gear but fifth, you'll feel the torque wrench torquing and almost slinging back. You don't want that. Um, you want to go ahead and put it in fifth, torque it down. Again, 105 to 112 foot pounds. Claritin, if you want to go ahead and sponsor me, that'd be great. I use a lot. Oh, and thanks uh, to Progress for the awesome shirt. Again, if you want the best sway bar you can buy for the rear of your P11 or B13, 
There's no substitute, progress suspension, progress group sway bars. They are the best you can buy. That's what I run in my B13. Again, progress, I'll put the website up here or I'll put it in the description of the video. So, everything is already torqued down. I already have a belt on. Now, the belt that I have on right now is the larger of the two. I just went for the larger of the two. Two sizes up, but I haven't tightened it down once I tighten it down, I'll see how much slack is in there. And if it's too much adjustment and it's way too high on the bolt, I'll switch it out to the other one. So I'm gonna test fit that now, and I'll let you guys know in a second. So of the two belts, uh, let me show you again which one I used. It's going to be the, this one right here, K060407. This is gonna be the one, it's a six rib belt, that's what the six stands for. And that's gonna be the one you're gonna go ahead and need for a SR20 with AC. So we've done all the homework for you guys. Buy the ATI products, they're great dampeners, they're great products. Um, and again, thanks to ATI again for sending me those t-shirts. At this point, I haven't gotten them yet, but when I do, you guys will see it on my Instagram. Those guys are great over there. They were very helpful on answering questions and also, just to mention um, that G-Spec pulley, you're able to use that on a DE as well, but you do have to purchase a, a spacer for a DE to use it on a DE. And the ATI pulley, that is actually just a direct bolt on. Sorry if I'm squinting, I'm making all these faces. These, this Claritin's not kicking in fast enough. Um, the ATI pulley does require also a spacer. You're able to purchase it through their website. I'll pull up the part number for the ATI dampener and the spacer up above me as it follows me to it. But I'll record it again as well so you guys know exactly which pulley to buy. So this is a pulley you're gonna go ahead and purchase. It's gonna be the ATI 918607 for the front wheel drive SR20. This is the one you wanna get, again. Whoa! good stuff right here and that's pretty much it I just wanted to follow up for everybody who may have wondered well you figured out the belt size for the non AC guys but what of us who have AC and would love to run AC on that ATI pulley well homework is done for you guys go out get yourself an ATI pulley um, I bought mine I think I bought mine on Summit and Robert bought his at Jags or vice versa yeah I think I bought mine on Summit and he bought his at Jags so the next person who's going to get one of these is Sergio. Um, we're doing some track upgrades that you guys will see in the next episode in, in a couple weeks after this video, I think, depending on, you know, whatever. But again, thanks again for watching. If you like videos like these, like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments what's the best thing you guys have taken for allergy. It's allergy season here in SoCal, and it hits me hard. It hits me, ah, like... Dredrick Tatum against Homerson. Oh wait, I already used that. I, I can't. It hits me hard like <laughs> But let's go ahead and uh, see what these guys are doing over here Oh now you guys want to get quiet when I'm walking over here. You hear my shoes? Well, we're, we're, we don't want to make noise and get uh, Uncle Grandpa. Uh oh Wait, wait, make noise Oh, where am I AJ? On that note, say bye Sergio. Say bye AJ. <laughs> He's got his freaking jazz hands. I knew it. I knew something was off about AJ. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Until the next one. Peace out. Whoa!